guys, it's Shy, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought it'd be fun to do a L'Oreal lipstick lip swatch video. I was at CVS and I picked up some really fun colors and some great neutrals as well. And I know I love the formula, so I was really excited to try these new colors. They're not necessarily new on the market, but they're new to me. And if we can find a good drugstore lipstick, let's give it a try, right? Before we get into it though, if you aren't already, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and join the party. You're already here anyway, so you might as well. And if you'd like, click that notification bell. It will keep you updated on all of the newness. That being said, let's dive in. So I'm going to try to go from neutral to deepest just because I don't know if these are going to stay in the lips or anything. And then I did pick up some lip liners. I did twist them already to open them to save myself the trouble on camera because we all know how that goes. And then I'm just gonna use my Makeup Revolution Macaroons palette so I have something to look at. But looking at this, I have three nudes and then three really vibrant shades. So one of the first nudes is this shade. It is 802 um, Matter Piece. It's like mass or matte, yeah, like masterpiece, but with the word matte in it. And I think the lip liner I'm going to use to go with that one is, let's see, what is this called? Mating Call. So let's try that. And this one is a good nude. These are some of the best lip liners I've ever used as well. They're very, very creamy and very affordable. So now that we have the lip liner down, let's go in with this lipstick and see how Matterpiece looks. <laughs> so this one is a really pretty like pinky nude almost kind of like a terracotta undertone. I think it looks really pretty with the brown lip liner. I definitely probably would have done a lighter lip liner. For some reason, I thought it was gonna be a little bit of a darker shade because um, it seems to be showing up a little bit lighter on my lips, but it is a really, really pretty lipstick. So now let's try the next one. The next one is 978 All Out Pout which is more of a mauve tone. And for this one, I am going to line my lips with a different lip liner. I'm going to line them with Matte's It. So this is a lip liner on its own. And then let's go in to All Out Pout. And this is the only lipstick color that I have tried before. It is actually one of my favorite all lipsticks of all time. So I had to put it in here because I already knew that I would love it. But the other shades I have not tried. And this is such a perfect lip liner and lipstick combo in my opinion. I think this would be a great like mauve nude lipstick on so many different skin tones as well. Um, I love this one. And these are some of the most comfortable matte lipsticks I have ever worn. They just feel so, so creamy, but they do wear really, really well as well. And they don't settle into like the lines on your lips. Like they look pretty plush still. And just so you guys know as well, I am taking what was left over from my makeup on my sponge and patting it over my lips so that we do get a clean lip swatch every time. So now that we have used these two, let me put them off the side. I am gonna try one just on its own with no lip liner. This is number 958, Daring Blush. And this one is more of like a mauve rose tone. It's, a, it's gonna be darker than All Out Pout, but let's see how she does. I love the purple undertones in this lipstick. And it's nice because if you aren't a lip liner person, you don't need to do a lip liner with these lipsticks either. They have great pigment on their own and normally they don't bleed at all either. But this is Daring Blush. 
Okay guys, so we're gonna go into our first like more daring color. This one is a bright orange and it's called At Bat. And it is so bright. So this one, I'm gonna do it with no lip liner just to see what it looks like. Um, Cause that is a super bright orange. I honestly don't know what possessed me to pick up these bright colors because I never do a bright lip, but maybe this is the year that I get out of my comfort zone. So let's see. So this is actually a little bit more sheer than I thought it was going to be, which I'm happy about because I was like, I don't know how crazy this is going to look. Let's see. So this one definitely doesn't work with uh, my makeup and my top. I think I would definitely need a lot more bronzer. Um, very sheer. I think this would look best with like a gloss over it in the summertime with like a really cute like summer dress. Like I think it could be a nice pop. You know what? Let's try that right now. Let's try adding a gloss over it and see if that helps. Let's see. And this is the Kylie Jenner high gloss. I think that can make it a little bit more like workable because it's not super opaque so if you are looking for really bright lipstick this isn't gonna be it but I think with like a little bit of gloss and like a good like bronze and like a really cute little like cocktail dress like this could be such a look adding like a wing and some lashes like I might actually wear this this summer so we will see uh right now it's still a little cold I'm still a little fair for this type of coral shade but um if you're into corals you probably really like this so now let's go into one that we're going to do with a lip liner. The lip liner I grabbed is called Best Mate Mattes. So like Best Mates, but Best Mattes. And it is a neon pink. And the lipstick that we're going to pair it with is called Mandy, which is number 712. And it is a pretty bright fuchsia color. Again, I don't know what possessed me to pick these up, but hopefully it looks good. <laughs> let's see. This lip liner applies beautifully. It's a beautiful lip liner. So now that the lips are aligned, let's go in with this lipstick and hopefully it's a little bit more pigmented than the coral one because I feel like if this is sheer, it's gonna look really weird. Oh, oh no, she pigmented. She's cute. Okay, hold on. I am living. What? Oh my God. Okay, she is super opaque, super comfortable to wear. I think the lip liner paired with it beautifully. I love a blue toned pink like this. It makes your teeth look real nice and white, um, which I really, really like. And I feel like it works well with like, maybe not this exact top, but like with my current makeup, my current hair color and skin tone, like it looks really, really nice. I feel like this is one of those um, lipstick shades that would look good on so many different skin tones, whether you are very fair or very deep in complexion. I think it would look really, really beautiful because of the tone to it. Um, I really like this. It reminds me of, oh my God, Kylie Jenner did a like velvet lip that she does and it was this shade and it was... God, I'm trying to remember when it launched, but anyways, I got that and that one smeared so bad and I was so pissed because it was such a cute color, but it was just such a disaster to even deal with. And this looks just like it, but is not going to be a smearing mess and I am living. Like even just an all black outfit with this and like a wing and some bomb ass lashes, like 
there you go. Okay, so this bright color I'm actually gonna be wearing a lot of. The last one that we are going in with, her name is, is In Love, In Love, shade 102, and she is a red, but she is more of an orange toned red. And then I did get a lip liner for it. The lip liner is in the shade In Manhattan. Okay, so thank God this is the last shade because the last one stained my lips pink. So if you are someone who likes to change lipstick colors, don't go in with the pink one because, uh, yeah, you're not going to be able to take it off. I actually put a daub, uh, like a little bit of foundation and tried to blend it out and she won't go away. Anyways, let's try this red lip liner. Again, like these lip liners are just everything. So a really good red with my pink stained lips. I look a little crazy. Um, let's try this lipstick. I'm really hoping it's as opaque as the pink one because that, this would be a really pretty red shade, I think, on like a lot of different skin tones. Let's see. Oh, she's opaque. I love this. Oh my God. This looks so pretty. Okay, so this one is such a pretty color, guys. So it is a more orange toned, like brighter red, which I think is really, really pretty. I can actually see myself wearing this with like a deeper blush, a little bit more bronzer, um, but it went on really nice and opaque, makes the teeth look nice and white, so it's not too orange of a red, because if you put on too orange of a red, it can make your teeth look yellow, even if you have really white teeth, it can be like a weird thing. Um, I think it paired beautifully with the lip liner as well. I could definitely see myself wearing this like all black. I just, I that's my thing. If I am going to do a pop of color on the lips, I am always in like all black or dark tones or like with a really cute dress in the summertime. I think this would be a really pretty color. Or if you're one of those people who does like red lips every day, this would be such a comfortable red lip for you to wear because it feels really, really nice on the lips. I'm curious if it's gonna stain, let's see. Oh, she stains, okay. So these lipsticks, though they are on the opaque side, they are gonna stain. So I think just being mindful of that, I'm gonna actually reapply that one really quick because I feel like I look really crazy. I might have to just go in with a micellar water to take it off, but I mean, they glide on so easy. And since they are um, more of a stain, I bet they probably last pretty well too. Like I have that one nude shade, that the All Out Pout that I wear all the time and that one does stay really, really nice. The nudes of course aren't gonna stain your lips, but um, when you are wearing a lipstick that is more pigmented, you do want it to stay. So I think sometimes with that staying power, it does come a staining power. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little lip swatch video. I love finding affordable makeup for you guys that works. These are beautiful, beautiful lipsticks. I will definitely link them down below in the description box. I picked mine up at my local CVS. They had all the lip liners there, all the lip colors. I shop at CVS more than anywhere else. I absolutely love it there. But if you did like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And then if you're going to pick up any of these colors or you have some that you love, definitely let me know in the comment section. I am so curious to see what your guys' favorites are as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye.